As we've noted before on Fox 10 Modern Living, mowing your yard shouldn't be a random endeavor. You need a sharp blade and the proper cutting height. Unfortunately, Steve Maness with U.S. Lawn says quite a few people get things wrong from the start. And like they don't know the types of grass they have, whether they get Bermuda, Zoysia, St. Augustine, or Centipede. Every one of those grasses takes a different fertilizer and also a different cutting height and a different mowing frequency. And if you don't know those things, you do more damage than good to your lawn. Manus breaks down the basics of each type of grass. In your shady areas, a lot of people are using what they call the Palisade Zoysia, which can stand good traffic, it stands good shade tolerance. And the next would be your St. Augustine for a shade tolerant grass. You know, if you've got an area where you want grass, but you've got a lot of shade, you've got to have something that doesn't need quite as much sun. Then centipede kind of falls in the medium range. It takes some shade, loves sun. It's a really good grass for all around, all around purposes. And then absolutely full sun, like on the beaches and stuff like that, people use a lot of Bermuda there. You know, kind of like you see on golf courses and stuff where it's all the sun all the time. They can cut it low to have a small nap to it, and uh, that's the most successful grass for a full sun area. It's also good to know the exact fertilizer regime for your variety of lawn. We do a pre-emergent in the wintertime to kind of stop the weeds from coming up in the spring. We do a post-emergent fertilization program in the springtime to get the weeds that we missed. And then we do four fertilization applications all throughout the year, depending on the climate. Yeah, so it's not that simple. So it never hurts to ask a pro for more help if you want your lawn green all season long. For Fox 10 Modern Living, I'm Matt Barentine.